Hi, this is Teal from PunkBlocks.com. For this week's fountain pen review, I want to show you this Sailor fountain pen with a music nib. Let's take a closer look. This is the Sailor 1911. The name of this body is called Profit. This is the smaller version of the Profit and with a bigger pen as well. The larger Profit is 14 cm in length and the smaller one is 13.5 cm so if you have other fountain pens uh, from sailor make sure you get if you want to interchange the nib section make sure that you get the uh, correct pen size so if you want to get the small one get a small one for all your other pens but usually i would try to look for the larger one because i think it's more comfortable to hold this is the pen itself go uh, colored clip some gold trimmings, top and bottom is a torpedo shape pen, so it, it feels very nice, very classy. This is the nib, and that's the body. Let's take a look inside. Depending on where you buy it, it may or may not come with the ink converter. This is the standard sailor ink converter that is used uh, by most sailor fountain pens. It's very affordable. Let's take a closer look at the nib. This is the music nib. Notice that the nib is quite white at the front. So when you do a down, downward stroke like this, it's going to give you a thick line. And if you do a side horizontal stroke like this, it's going to give you a thin line. This is the design of the nib itself. The, nothing too fancy, but it's very simple, clean design. 21K. I have another variation as well. This is also music nib. So you can see that this one has more design going in. This is also 21K. So look out for the design when you're buying such uh, nibs. But other than that, it's pretty standard. The body is the same. Everything is the same except for the design on the nib itself. Let's load the pen with ink and see how it writes and draw. I'm using the Noodleless ink here. This is a Polar Black. I'm trying to use up this bottle that has been around for many months. But usually I don't use this ink. I use the other one, the Noodleless Bulletproof Black instead because the other one is waterproof and this is not so that's why i have that bottle for a long time as mentioned earlier this pen produces a thick downward stroke and a thin side stroke this is called a music nib maybe because it was designed to help music musicians write music notes sorry i'm not very good at writing notes i don't even know how they look like but anyway uh, you can use this for writing text as well let's take a closer look depending on how you hold the pen the strokes will come out differently and they will look very different so just now I was holding it in this uh, direction. So now if I tilt it to the side way, you can see that letters now appear very different. You can write thinner. You can keep the letters close uh, when you're writing uh, sideways because the strokes downwards are thinner. So you can pack in more. But if you are going to do um, draw it from this direction, then you the letters will be broader. Or you can do it 45 degrees. So usually I don't use this pen for writing. I use this for drawing. Let me uh, do a drawing demonstration. Just going to draw some um, people from a reference photo. This is actually not one of my favorite pens for drawing because um, I prefer the downward stroke to be thin and in the case for this music nib, the downward stroke is actually quite thick but you can definitely control uh, how you hold to control 
where the line is thin and where the line is thick so that's really not a big issue but that's something to note of because music nib um, Scylla actually has another music nib which has a totally opposite stroke uh, style that means the downward stroke is thin and the side stroke is actually thick the exact opposite of this particular pen and that nib is called the it's also called music nib but it's called the emperor music cross music yeah it's called cross music it's pretty ex it's pretty expressive uh, when you're using this pen because it does it is able to give you um, lines of varying thickness and you can tilt of course if you want the areas where you want the thin lines just make sure that you move to hold the pen correctly in the correct position if not it will be thick lines like for example now it's thick if I want to draw the chin of this guy thick I would have to do this thick lips and thin beard so I'll do a vertical stroke like this and a thin neck and a thick collar yeah, back maybe he's wearing a back and his shirt Let's see how the pen does when it's cross hatching. For cross hatching, it will be better to use the thin lines. So um, this is very, this is actually quite good for cross hatching. Of course, if you use it um, in the downward stroke for hatching, the lines are a bit, they are a bit too thick and too striking. Ink flow is quite good actually. Silver pen usually have pretty good ink flow. Of course, if you're going to draw very fast, then the ink may not catch up. But for normal writing or drawing speed, not a problem at all. This Sailor fountain pen with music nib is quite an interesting pen because of the nib. You can get thin and thick lines, so you can. Um, create some interesting sketches with, with this with varying line thickness um, this is however not a pen that I use very often because I prefer thin vertical strokes and broad horizontal strokes and this music nib is the exact opposite so this one gives you a thick vertical stroke and a thin horizontal stroke but um, as for the pricing, I'm not too sure, you have to check that online, but for the price that I bought it, I remember that it's very well worth the money because of the construction quality, the ink flow is great, the nib is fantastic, and it's just, um, it holds in the hand quite well as well, it's quite comfortable and light. So I would say it's still worth the money, especially for me, even though I don't use it that much often. I will post a link to some of the sketches that I've drawn with this particular pen. They will be in the video description below. So check out the link. That's all for this week's uh, fountain pen review. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more sketching tips, techniques, fountain pen reviews, art product reviews, and sketchbook features. Um, thanks for watching and have a nice day.